WordPress news. Today in this video, I'll be giving you guys some updates about what's going on in the WordPress community. I'll be talking about some products that are retiring and also Google's new algorithm that's coming that will be replacing cookies or could be replacing cookies. I'll talk all about that today in this video. Now, first thing I wanna mention guys, um, there's been an ongoing scam going on a lot of channels. I'm sure you've seen other creators talk about it where people are posing to be me, yet they're not. So whenever you guys see me, uh, my comments right here, you'll see the highlighted name, Daryl Wilson, right? And you can see these other names, Daryl Wilson is not highlighted. So uh, this has been going on in other channels. So be very cautious. A lot of these people have given these scammers their personal info and users have been telling me, hey man, we were talking, what happened? And I was like, that wasn't me, man, you know? So uh, just be very mindful and just protect yourself. Make sure that you don't give these scammers your information. Hopefully Google will roll out some sort of update or something that will fix this. But uh, I just want everyone to know about this scam that's been going on. First things first, SiteGround. I don't know what's going on with them. They have actually reduced their plans on their uh, website. So the pricing is the same. However, what they've done is they have drastically reduced the amount of websites per plan. So for example, the startup plan, which has always been one website, is still one website, yet the grow big was changed from unlimited websites to only two websites. And the go geek is now five websites only. So I'm not really sure why SiteGround is doing this. Um, I think ever since SiteGround migrated to Google Cloud, it has just been a big can of worms for them. They just started doing one thing after the other and they've kind of shot themselves in the foot here. So um, for old customers, if you guys were on their old plan, you guys keep the limited websites. However, if you are new customers of SiteGround, um, they have reduced the amount of websites per plan. They have done this in a response from what I've seen and heard to improve their service. So that's what I have been told. So that's what I am going to say. Uh, personally, I think they shouldn't have done that. I think these limits are a little ridiculous, especially when they renew for $25 a month for two websites. And if they're hosted on the Google Cloud, you know, you can go to another, another company and get the pricing probably a lot cheaper. So again, I'm not really sure of the direction Cycron's going here. I don't like this. And um, that's really all I'm gonna say on the matter. I just, I don't agree with it and I don't like it. And uh, yeah, cause people ask me what I thought about it. I don't like it. I don't know why they're doing it. And that's that. So uh, I currently now recommend a name hero. So um, yeah, that's that. But I just wanted to let everyone know about these new pricing plans for SiteGround. Next, the Bricks Builder. Now this builder is actually a lot better than I thought it was. And you guys know how it is. When you, when you see a new builder, you're thinking, oh, Daryl, another crappy builder. No, this builder is actually extremely fast. Yeah, it's also intuitive. So you guys can see from their comparison that these guys just get really good scores. And one of their other competitors was Oxygen and people ask me about Oxygen on my channel, but Oxygen is very complicated. It's not user-friendly whatsoever. Yet this builder is kind of like the bridge. It's very fast, yet it's also intuitive. It has a interface very similar to Elementor and it's very simple to like kind of build your site. So you have that speed of just, it's ridiculous. In fact, I think over here, they actually give you some, some uh, benchmark speeds they have which like you can get like an A on Google from like every single, I don't know where it is. But anyways, they are releasing their new WooCommerce builder sometime this month. And uh, when that's out, I'll be making a video on it because that sounds really interesting. If you guys haven't seen this builder yet, I'll leave a video to the Bricks demo where I tested it out and I'll leave that uh, video in the description below of this video. Next, Google is planning to replace cookies. And this is having a lot of people upset. So it's called Google Google's Flock or Google Flock. Now, Google, I'm sorry, WordPress has not made a statement on this. There's been a lot of uh, controversy about WordPress saying what they think or what they don't think. WordPress is currently staying neutral and they are not saying uh, anything about this. So I just want to let everyone know that because people have been saying uh, WordPress has been like, you know, blocking them or something. No, not true. Uh, but essentially what this does is that this is going to replace cookies and it's actually going to study your behavior and the browser is going to kind of study where you're going. They're going to actually study your behavior, sort of like an algorithm. Now this has a big uh, concern about privacy. And of course, Google responds by saying, this is privacy first advertising, which is really not true at all. In fact, that's corporate branding. Whenever they do something, they just say the opposite and that's corporate branding. So. I just know that if you do, you guys do use uh, Google Chrome, that they might plan on replacing cookies and just having the browser study your behavior and advertise based off of that specific behavior. 
Now, Google responded by saying, well, people are blocking cookies. So the reason why um, you know, Google's doing this is because they're saying that cookies are no longer effective because users can block them and therefore uh, advertisers cannot advertise properly. However, other people are saying it's a big invasion of privacy where they can go ahead and study every single website you're going and then advertise it. And, you know, personally, I do think that is a big cause for concern uh, because let's say, for example, you're, I don't know, maybe you're dating someone and you go to some website that you don't want them to know about. And then later on, they're at your house and you get an ad for that. You know, they're going to say, oh, why are you getting ads for this website? You know, and then your privacy is kind of revealed. You know, it, there's just a lot of other complications it could bring, you know. Um, personally, I use uh, Brave. I've been using this for a while. It's anonymous browsing, and they're also developing their own search engine. Uh, I also have, I don't use Gmail anymore, and I only use um, I only use Chrome and Gmail specifically for my YouTube accounts. I don't really surf the internet with them too much because uh, everything that you do is being recorded. In fact, when you use Gmail, they're actually scanning everything and they're selling everything. So um, yeah, if you guys wanna use Proton email or you guys wanna use Brave, uh, be my guest. Uh, you'll get a lot more privacy that way. Next, we have Cadence. Cadence theme has been sold. And that just brings a lot of, it's very bizarre. It's just kind of like, why would they sell their company? So Liquid Web, I'm sorry, iThemes, which is Liquid Web, or they're the same company. They have acquired Cadence. Uh, I don't know why. In fact, it just leads me to just think that I don't know why a theme that was on the rise would just sell off and then just sell their product. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. And a lot of users are completely stumped and confused by this. Uh, I myself too, I, I just don't know why Cadence would sell off their product when it was on the rise. The only thing I can possibly think of is internal conflict because if you had a product and it's building up momentum and it's selling, why sell it, you know? But uh, the company they did sell it to was actually, uh, is very, very recognizable, iThemes. They have tons of WordPress products and they have a very, very large staff. So if you are using the Cadence theme, I think um, it's in good hands. I think iThemes, um, they're a great company. They have tons of other WordPress products. And um, yeah, so if you are using it, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Just know that it is now under different management that could cause them to have, you know, maybe, I don't know, you know, maybe they might go different ways on updates. Maybe they might pick different things on what, on features. Uh, there's a lot of things about features and updates that they might change because it's under new management. So yeah, just be, uh, just, just be aware of that. Again, I don't think it's going to have a big effect on the WordPress theme, but, uh, yeah, it has been sold to I themes. next Caldera forms. If you're using Caldera forms, guys, they're retiring. So this company is going out of business. Uh, they are going to be completely not supporting this form anymore in December, 2021. I think it's just because everything's getting very competitive and I understand the argument for Caldera forms because I know you guys like free plugins, you know, but the problem with free plugins is that it just doesn't make anyone money. And when you're working for free, it causes other plugins to just go under and we have seen a history of that. So uh, it looks like um, they are phasing Caldera forms to Ninja forms. And I believe their new, their new owner will be Ninja forms now. Uh, I'm not really too sure. It looks like they're creating migrations or something like that, but uh, I'm not really sure how this is all gonna work out. So if you are using Caldera Forms, just know that they are going to be retired soon. And it looks like they're selling their customers to Ninja Forms or something like that. So yeah, that's that. And uh, again, I think that when people create everything for free too much, it just makes the market too competitive. And I know you guys like free plugins. I like free plugins too, but paying for products helps because it helps support developers. <laughs> And we can see that uh, I think probably Caldera Forms has had a problem with making money due to the competition in the markets. Next, all right, so I have created a bunch of multilingual channels. So I'm having my WordPress tutorials translated into specific languages. So we are translating my videos into Spanish, Portuguese, Arabic, French, Hindi, and also German. And my Spanish channel is really picking up, man. This channel is really building up momentum. We just hit 10,000 subscribers. Uh, over a year, and that's actually a lot. So uh, also my Arabic channel is also doing really, really well. So if you do speak any of these languages, and sometimes you feel like I'm talking too fast, which I understand, I do have a tendency to talk a little faster than the average American. Um, you guys can check out these channels. Uh, what we do is we actually, um, 
we take a lot of the larger videos and the very important videos and we translate those using a professional voiceover artist. I have made another video that goes through the process of how this all got started. It's a huge operation. It's not something that I'm doing by myself. No way. So there's a, I'll make another video explaining how this all got started and how it's, uh, you know, is it working and all that stuff in another video. But um, yeah, so these channels are available. So if you do see my other channels in other languages, guys, it's not stolen content. It's from my channel. So people have told me that people are stealing my content and that is not true. But yeah, just a heads up. Next, Rank Math has opened their affiliate program. Interesting. They are now offering 30% for the Rank Math Pro version. I have got a lot of requests to do the Rank Math Pro. Uh, I will be messing around with that plugin a little bit and probably in the near future, I will be making a video on the Pro version. But if you are using Rank Math and you wanna promote it to your audience or your customers, you can actually make some money off of it using their affiliate program. Next, oh, this has been a large controversy. So I guess Wix, you guys know Wix, right? The do-it-yourself website, the, the the website that's, you know, gets started for free and then they charge you like $100 a month. So they have created a large amount of videos kind of attacking WordPress and it's just controversy. They just want to build up their brand, but uh, they've just been just taking big shots at WordPress and this has just gotten a lot of people upset. Even Matt Molnwig made a few responses about it saying he doesn't appreciate it and everything. Um, let's, let's watch this really quick and I'll give you guys my feedback on it. So here we go. So, so here they're making fun. So here they're making fun of WordPress because of, of plugin updates and conflicts. So they're saying when you update, this happens, you know. No, sometimes when I press the update button, I know it's gonna crash or get messed up, and I'm gonna end up working all night. So. I smile talking about it, but the truth is, it's terrifying knowing that at any moment, everything I've worked for could just. I mean, I love WordPress. Just wish it could be more reliable. So yeah, so they're making a lot of videos like that. And if you check out their channel, they actually do make a lot of other videos. I, I think they're somewhat humorous. You know, I think like, I, I'm still gonna use WordPress obviously, but they're just trying to take jabs at WordPress and they're just trying to build publicity for, for Wix. And uh, they're just making a lot of videos, but you can see from these dislike ratios, a lot of devout WordPress users are really upset about it. But, you know, I don't think it's anything. I mean, look at the amount of views. I mean, this is really not gonna make a big impact on the community or the market. They're just they're just taking jabs at WordPress. You know, that's, that's just how it works out. And also guys, just remember that the Google page experience, Google algorithm update is coming next month. So I did make another video talking about that and it is rolling out in just a few days. So you wanna make sure that your website is very, uh, has a good page experience. That's what, that's what they're calling the update is page experience update or algorithm where uh, if your users have a bad page experience, uh, you will lose SEO ranking. So uh, just uh, keep that in mind. And uh, again, I made a whole nother video talking about it. I just want to remind everyone again that it's coming up very soon. So uh, yeah, just be sure to check that out. So guys, you guys have any questions for me? Let me know in the comments below if there's anything that uh, I said in this that interests you. Uh, be sure to check out a lot of these websites like Bricks. They have their new WooCommerce builder coming out. Um, I'll go ahead and leave some of these articles in the description below if you guys wanna check it out, like the Google flock and what people are saying about it. They say it's a terrible idea. Yet Google is rebuttaling, saying that this is going to protect your uh, privacy, which I don't think that's true at all. But again, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Daryl Wilson, and I will see all of you party people in the next video. Take care.